Get the hell out of here. Okay, Go okay. on. Move it. Move it. Go on. Go on. And stay the fuck away. It's all right. They're just kids. They're not biting today. Patience, Tommy. That's all you need. You watch. How come he looks familiar? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, sir? Fierro, state police. Sorry, sir. Who is he? Humberto Castillo. He runs, ran Miami's Little Havana. And that's his son. Did you see anything? I was in the can. I saw him run up. Two guys. Two guys? Yes, wearing masks. White masks. I used to know your old man. Sure. I remember when they threw you out of Miami, Fierro. He didn't deserve to die like that. It was much too fast. Son of a bitch! You filthy thing! <laughs> you ever want to sue me or take me on? Call me. Fuck you. Mr. Castillo, uh, <laughs> I've got to go into town. Of course, Dad. Come back to bed. Tonight. Hmm? I'll be bored. Maybe you'd like to take your mother shopping again. Yeah, great. <laughs> I know you. More, more. 300 bucks, all right? I loved you, Cole. Me too. Bye. Mr. Romeo. Mr. Romeo. Mr. Romeo. We're going to be late. How late? Five minutes. Call me when it will be 15. Yes, sir. Come on, Ben. What the hell are we waiting for? Tony will be here in a minute. Right. He's always fucking late, the bastard. Here he is. Yeah. You're late, boy, yo. Traffic. Sit down, Tony. Queen Bee's here. Let's roll the meeting. Ben, you first. I want to hear your opinion. How are we going to stop the killing? Okay, okay. Till Tommy's uncle and Peter's father got killed last week. We were getting along. Maybe we didn't like the terms. But they were working. 
We were taking care of business. After all, there's enough work here for all of us in Miami. Then why did you whack my uncle? You tell him, Tony. Listen, kid. You better have proof you go around throwing out accusations like that in public. Forget it, Mac. He's a hothead. Yeah, but hell. Yeah, he's right. What proof you Maybe got? Maybe he knows without having proof. Blow out your ass, Castillo. All right, that's enough. Come on. Calm down. You think anyone here is crazy enough to start a war? <laughs> Come on, whoever's behind this wants more than a block for somebody else's territory. They want the whole city. So how the hell do we handle it? Any ideas, Tony? We don't. We let the cops do it. <laughs> Mine, man, where you living? Out in the wilds of fantasy land? Miami cops won't say boo. Let them talk. It's simple. Your people on the street hear anything. They pass it on to me. I pass it on to the cops. Anonymously. And what do you think they're gonna do then? Get a warrant? Arrest somebody? Nobody on the force here has the balls to do that. Mark Farrow has. That motherfucker? He's in Tampa. No. He's being transferred here. Very quietly, to stop this thing before it blows up. That bastard almost put us out of business a few years ago. This time he's going to be too busy to worry about us. So what about it, gentlemen? We pay taxes. Let's put our tax dollars to work for a change. What do you think? I like it. I'm in. Peter? OK. Buds? As long as the son of a bitch stays away from our business. Yeah, he moves on me, I'll plant a bullet in him. Uncle, who is this Mark Fierro? The only man I know who can stand up to us. <laughs> Off desk detail. I hear the DA didn't like it. Tell me about it. Threaten to have the chief assign me the property room permanently if I took the job. Thanks, Hoagie. I need a liaison I can trust, not some flunky bean counter who's brown nosing the DA. So, how the hell are you? About the same. Well, you gonna feed me? And how? Look, I got this great little Italian slop shop. Have you drooling? The pasta's so good. Come on. So where are they putting me, the broom closet? No way, you got your own executive office suite. Sure. Fresh scrub, well, I guess you could call it furnished. Hell, even has a photo of the president. A photo of the president? God damn, Hoagie, they must really need me. Yeah, well, don't wet your pants, you ain't seen it yet. I knew you'd say that. It's strange being back here. It takes some getting used to. Enjoy your meal. Won't take long. So, how is Tampa? Hmm. Dull. It's a small town. What about here? Actually, things are worse now than when you were here. Newcomers want to take over. Hmm. What about Costa? You still see him? <laughs> what, are you kidding? He was your father-in-law, Mark, not mine. Mm. He only associated with me because I was your partner. I get the point. So, what about him? Well, short and sweet, he owns Sunside Incorporated. Real estate, construction, import-export, film production. Business offices worldwide, and it's all legit. Remember his brother, Vincent? Did he die or something? Yeah, he died all right. But now there's his daughter, Santa. She runs the whole shebang, graduates top of her class, London School of Economics. And old Ben, semi-retired, chairman of the board, leads a life of leisure. You buy that? The leopard changes spots? No way, Jose. <laughs> Ogie the Optimus. <laughs> Who else knew I was coming? Chief, DA, Lori, probably one of her heavy hitter clients. 
Such as? Costa. And get this. Tony Romeo. The yuppie. Bingo. <laughs> that punk was snatching old ladies' purses on Miami Beach when I left. Yeah, well, now he's the crown prince. Or he would be if Costa were still king. Jesus. I thought Costa had better taste. Pickings are lean in the gangland business these days, Mark. Gotta take whatever help you can get. Hey, tell me about it later. Hmm? Yeah, you're right. Talking mm -hmm. about Tony Romeo does paint the food. Sweet home. A prodigal son returns. back at home? Same smell. Come on. What is it? Morning, Mark. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us again. It's a pleasure to be here. Captain Fierro, I'd like to introduce... Uh... Andrew Glenn, District Attorney. Ah, no chairs. People who sit down tend to waste a lot of time chatting, I find. I wanted to make sure I talked to you before you started on this case. You're a bit late then, Mr. Glenn. Look, uh, let's skip all the bullshit, shall we? I'm here for work, not to prepare for my re-election. I don't like the way you operate, Peter. And I don't like the way you plea bargain those filthy scumbag punks right back out onto the streets. So now we're even. He doesn't work for me. If you have a problem with Captain Fierro, you have to go to the governor's office. You're famous for getting the job done. And that's why you're here. But if you're going to work in this city, you work within the law. And I mean the letter of the law. Great idea. Don't know why I didn't think of it before. Yeah, I'll hand my gun in and carry law books around and throw them at the bad guys. Huh. It'll save the courts a bundle in public spending and you a lot of work in getting crooks off the hook. Hey, look, guys, just, just back off. Don't forget, we're all on the same side, okay? Listen, Mr. Glenn, you sentenced them in your way. I'll bring them in, in my way. Walking into the place now, I'll come back to you.
Unit 7 here. Tell the Chief Happy Valentine's Day. John McCullum, AKA Spuds. Gambling, dope, loan sharking, you name it. You front for anybody? No way, Mark. This was his territory. Nobody messed with him here. I guess the killers didn't know that. What's her story? McCollum's mistress. She just inherited the whole shebang. Take a look around. You don't look too broken up. Maybe I'm in shock. And maybe I'm the nice cop. Mark Fierro. Catherine Rock. So what did you see that you haven't already told the boys? If I had seen anything else, what makes you think I'd tell you? Because you're a very smart businesswoman. And you know if I take care of your problem, you don't have to take care of it yourself. And maybe things won't get really out of hand. Don't you call this really out of hand? I mean a full-scale gang war. You know, if I could be sure that only people like you would get hurt, I wouldn't give a shit. If you hear anything, you call me. Good business. Coincidence or conspiracy? What is this, Final Jeopardy? Yeah, could be. Bogey, you think any of these has the balls to whack the three old guys? Make an end run? Lock up the whole city? Mm-hmm. Sami and Castillo, I don't think so. I mean, why risk it? They're both next in line, straight secession. Now, your girlfriend, Catherine, here, mm. I don't think this picture gets the steel in her eyes. She's in the weakest starting position. But she has the most to gain. Perhaps a little surveillance? Perhaps a lot of surveillance. Uh, very discreet, of course. Of course. Yes? Sorry to bother you, Miss Laurie, but there's a man here who wants to come up, but he won't give his name. You want me to call the cops? That's okay, Ernie. He is a cop. Let him in. Mark Fierro. I catch it a bad time, Lori. Would you care? What do you want? I want to talk to you about your number one client and the shit he's stirring up in this town. You are bucking up the wrong tree, Mark. My client has class. He leaves that sort of thing to the Cubans. He listens to me. And I'm teaching him he can do anything he wants without breaking the law. 
by bribing cops and officials. The whole world's out for a payoff. I don't know about that. But I do know how things are changing. Take me, for instance. I slayed for six long years in the DA's office. Did I save the world? I read you, Laurie. The grass is greener on the other side. I'll stick to my side. Tell him I'm not for sale. He knows that. He also knows that. You tend to charge about, like a blind bull in a China market. Congratulations. You're briefing him well. Thanks for the milk. It's kind of sour. I'm not throwing you out. I know, but I'm leaving anyway. I give up. I give up. Don't you know, all right? Tony. Hi. What's the matter? The old man. He listens to tales, then thinks he can treat me like dirt. Oh, come on. You want to meet later? No. Some other time, sometime I'm busy. Hello, Uncle. Santa. <laughs> she's stupid, I know, but she's sweet. And besides, where would I find another woman like your aunt? God bless the poor soul. Ah. ah. You saw Tony, didn't you? I did. I gave him a good talking to, but he's so hard-headed, he won't obey, not even me. Ah. Have you had something to eat? No, I just had two sandwiches in the office. Two sandwiches is all you've had all day, Santa? Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, my dear, you're the most precious thing I have and the most appreciated, really. Listen, Uncle. Huh? There's a lot of money missing from one of the accounts. Huh? Are you sure of that? I'm sure. It's a lot of money being used and not accounted for. Out of our local account? No, from our Cayman Islands account. But Santa, who... Only you and I and Tony can make withdrawals on that account, right? It's impossible. I really think you should check the figures again. I did. I did, but I guess you're right. This is so big that I better check again, all right? <laughs> so precious. Now you're coming into the kitchen, eh? <laughs> and I am going to feed you. Fierro. How could I give you my number if I didn't have one? Yeah, who gave it to you? Why not? All right. No, 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 no. No, I did not skip out of Tampa. I was simply transferred back to Miami. I've been in Miami two days, and you've already got my phone number and address, so what the hell's wrong? You're crazy. No, you can forget about that, Gina, and I mean now. You've been at the bottle again, Gina. You've got to be drunk or high on drugs to even think of it. 
that I wouldn't be able to do my job and look after her as well? Gina. G. Jesus. Hold it. Hello, Mark. I surrender. Don't shoot. Paloma. How did you get in here? How do you think? The janitor let me in. You want something to eat? There's no point in offering. There's nothing in the fridge. I looked. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I've only been here a couple of days. I'm Was still that her getting calling? Over. Yep. Yeah, I could tell by the tone of your voice it was. Listen, I'll try to explain the situation. There's no way you can stay here. It wouldn't be right for you. You know my work. I'd never be around for you. You'd never see me. So what else is new? I'm pretty used to that by now. It wasn't my choice. I didn't want any of this. I wouldn't have come to Miami if I could have stayed home. But your ex-wife, you know, my mother, has gone on holiday to Canada with her boyfriend and Timmy, and they just might stay up there. What do you mean, stay up there? No, for good. Anyway, the point is, it's not that she doesn't want me on their vacation. She doesn't want me around, period. She didn't give me any warning, nothing. Just gave me a handful of money and told me to get out. I bet they'd sold the house and gone for good. Well, it wouldn't be hard to find out where they are. Oh, sure, I forgot. Super cop rides again. Listen, it's going to work out fine. I promise you it will. Do I get some place to sleep? Well, yeah, right there. You're sitting on your bed. Mm. Oh, and uh, if you're going to live here, I don't want you to smoke. Bob Breaker. What did you say? Oh, nothing, Mark. I was thinking aloud. You know, you could call me dad now, Paloma. Why start now? I've called you Mark since I was a baby. I just figured it might be nice for both of us. All right. <laughs> Good to see you, kid. <laughs> huh? You don't play with that yellow anymore? Uh, fucking cheap. How can you play with a man who starts coughing and jabbering just when you're going to serve? I heard you were back in town. Sit down, sit down. You look good, Ben. Mm -hmm. A little more silver here. A little more gold in foreign banks. Mm, yeah, I feel good. Not dressed for tennis, I see, Mark. I imagine this isn't a chance meeting, right? Ben, I'm not going to let Miami go up in flame. There's not going to be any gang war. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't think I have anything to do with what's going on? know me better than that, hmm? Do I? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Listen, kid. Maybe it's the old-fashioned man in me. But I don't like what's happening. No. No rules. No human feelings. No respect. Eh, times are changing. But people like us, don't change. I want peace. I mean it. Oh, 
we're both dinosaurs, Mark. <laughs> Listen, if you'll let me, I can help you. How? <laughs> By just listening, you know. I'm strictly legit, but I hear many things. What do you want in return? Nothing. Say I'm a good Samaritan. And I'm Mother Teresa. I won't hold my breath waiting for you to call. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, by the way, your granddaughter's here in town. Paloma? Yeah. Where? Uh, Gina sent her to stay with me. Huh. You mean for the summer? For good. Oh. <laughs> Fucking dinosaur. Still a betting man, Hoagie? Just on the dogs. Ah, it's a sucker bet anyway. What is? That that's the team that whacked old man Asami. You think the nephew settled the account? No, no, not the nephew. He would have made it public. Big time. What's wrong? Nothing. You're a better cop than you are a liar. I've been calling Paloma all morning. She doesn't answer. Look, I know you're new at this fatherly stuff, but do you think a girl like Paloma's got nothing better to do than to zip by the phone away for Daddy to call? Shut up, Hoagie. Just shut up. Small timers. Professional losers, a lot of them. Our man isn't taking any chances. Maybe it's our woman. Did surveillance turn up anything? A juicy little tidbit, Captain. Catherine likes to sunbathe in the nude. <laughs> I think it's very suspicious and calls for an in-depth investigation. <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> Hoagie. <laughs> I'm gone. Sure thing. I don't suppose you know anything about it. About what? We heard the sirens. What happened? Good line reading, counselor. Cut the crab, Mark. What's going on? Someone wants me off this case. For good. 
Shit. They almost killed a kid down there. That's twice now. And both tries were outside your place. I don't believe in coincidences. My point exactly. So, where is he? Sit down. You want to talk? Talk. Mark and I were just discussing coincidences. He is back in town for a few days and someone's already tried to kill him. Twice. Right outside here. A lot of people nurse grudges. I don't remember him leaving behind very many friends when he left. As for this attempts on your life, a little too obvious for my style. What is your style these days? My attorney here will explain it to you. I'd rather you did. All right. Bottom line, Costa's an old man. The parade left him behind a long time ago. Only he doesn't know it. Was that before or after he picked your ass out of the gutter? Costa is chasing rainbows. And you? I'm buying people. Cold, hard cash. No violence. I don't break any laws. I bet you also give to charity. In a big way. It's a smart investment. Opens a lot of doors. I'm sure it does. But I'm an old-fashioned cop. Thousand-dollar shoes don't impress me. You know, your little one-man crusade will never get off the ground. You offering to help me? We can talk about it. Sure. Sure. I don't care who's behind this thing. You, Izami, Castillo, or one of the other rotten young punks. I'm going to stop it. And pronto. Capiche? You want to stop me? You get in line and take a number. It's not worth it. Uh, I have to be in court in an hour. Surprise. Hope you assholes got a warrant. <laughs> Your boss going to pay tax on this? Get out of here. Certainly. Whose is this? It's not mine. Ah. 
Now it's yours. Hey, this is bullshit. <laughs> You're a convicted felon, Carmelo. Guns are a big no-no. This is a fucking setup. Tell it to the judge. Adios. You are completely out of your mind. You've broken at least a dozen laws. And I can disprove all your accusations. Sure. You're a brilliant lawyer. Romero had nothing to do with what was going on at the go-kart track. You think him so dumb as to deal coke in small envelopes? That's probably the attendant sideline. Great dinner. What's the recipe? Take away garbage. And Carmelo never carries a gun. That was a dirty trick. Apart from what you'd already done to his restaurants and betting shops. I just stuck a hot pepper up your favorite client's ass. Look, you're trying to knock down an elephant with a fly swat. Sunside is a big, powerful corporation with broad and legitimate interests all over the world. They handle millions and millions of dollars. Are you talking as a lawyer? I'm talking as a friend who doesn't want to see you make an ass of yourself. Okay, okay. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But I don't like your Tony Romeo and his $200 shirts. How do you know he's not uh, shortchanging you? Maybe he's running this war. And what if it's your friend Costa? Hey, no, 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 no way. He's a mean son of a bitch and as hard as they come. But if he decides to kill someone, he just does it. He doesn't make threats or play games. No. Can I make a call? <laughs> your daughter. She's out. Well, she probably found herself a boyfriend. Today, young people don't have as many hang-ups as we did. You don't seem to like that. I don't know. I guess I don't understand her. <laughs> Millions of fathers say the same thing about their daughters. You want me to, to try and talk to her? You know, sometimes it goes together. Thanks. I won't charge you, I promise. Hey, hey, hey. You know me. I always pay my debts. <laughs> In kind? Mm -hmm. How much? Two hours? Two hours? Two whole hours? Mm -hmm. You're spoiling me, Mark. You deserve to be spoiled. Might even make it three hours if you're a good girl. <laughs> you still taste the same. You feel better now? Not yet. How is it you never told me you represent all the syndicates, not just Costa and Tony? You're the cop. How come you didn't ask? Wise guy. <laughs> now I suppose you'll think I could be the mastermind behind the killings. It crossed my mind. What? Oh, you... Hey, <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh, no, you weren't. I only gave it a fleeting <laughs> thought. I swear. Give me the phone. You tried there 15 minutes ago. It's late. <sighs> the cop dead from hell. Come on, she's almost 18. Give me the phone. <sighs> you got into this fatherhood thing pretty suddenly, didn't you? I've never been there for her. 
I want to try to make up for that a little bit before she goes back to her mother. I thought Gina threw her out. You know Gina, that was yesterday. Tomorrow she'll sue me to get her back. So, is this an old-fashioned wham-bam thank you, ma'am, or could there be more to it? I don't know. Thank you for the honest answer. Mark? I never bought it for a minute. Bought what? Your garb routine. You know, I want to be alone. <laughs> Garbo never said that. And you don't mean it. Geez, I almost put an APB out on you. Thought you were gone forever. We were talking about Tony Romeo. Yeah? She says we're barking up the wrong tree. Took her all night to say that? Must have talked real slow. <laughs> Come on, Hoagie, let's go. <laughs> Anyway, a couple of days in the hospital, then I go home. I'll come and visit you, Sam. Don't worry. We'll play a little gin rummy or something like that, eh? You're a real pal, man. <laughs> sure. Maybe you'd like to give me a kind of get well present when I come out. Like what? Like Fiero. I know how you feel about him, Ben. He was your son-in-law. I mean, listen, we don't have to whack him. Maybe just an accident. An early retirement kind of thing? No. Please, the guy's killing my business. We're all taking hits. You tell him you don't have enough sock away to tide you over? He's wrecking the organization. We're all gonna have to start over from the ground up. Well, we all need to do a bit of housekeeping from time to time. <laughs> mm, the kid's smart. Keeping us all on the ropes while he roots out who's behind the shit. So, he finds our man, or men, women, whatever. What then? It won't stop. He doesn't know how. He'll keep pushing. Then we'll turn our newspaper and TV friends loose on him. Bang! <laughs> ah, like a ton of bricks. He'll end up back in Tampa before he knows what hit him. I gotta tell you, it's real hard to sit still for this. Listen, did you hear people make any progress in this thing? Hmm? It's better the business dies than you or me, right? I guess so. Then don't worry about the cleanup. The surest way to screw Mark Garrow is let him do it. <laughs> He's an expert at it. Wait a minute. You and Freddy... Me and Freddy? What? Maybe you're plotting to steamroll to me and the others and split the town between you, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Not such a bad idea, Ben. Mm. Maybe we'd even give it a serious shot if Fiero hadn't already hurt us so damn bad. <laughs> mm. Bye, Sammy. Be seeing you. Go. Sure. Captain Fierro? Yeah. Have you any identification? Thank you. If this is a setup, pal, you're not going to be around to enjoy the outcome. It's no setup, Captain. Nabu Usami was my brother. Congratulations. I'm a professional skipper. Got my own trawler. As was my father and my grandfather. Nabu chose a different life and disgraced our family. We hadn't spoken for 20 years. Still, he was my own brother. They shouldn't have killed him. 
man who did it is called Drake. What's he look like? I show him to you. You know where he is? Yeah, in the old fisherman village. Call for backup. Yeah, this is Unit 7. We need back up at the fisherman village. Make it fast and quiet. Seven out. Captain, I'm not doing this because it's the right thing to do. I want to see my brother avenge. I follow this freight for days. I just don't have the guts to do it myself. Let's go find him. Stop here, Captain. That one there. I saw with Drake. It's his bodyguard. I don't see Drake. You run along. Might get kind of hairy around here. Let's take a look. Hey, hold on. Are we going to wait for backup? I don't want to take the risk of losing this guy. You know, buddy, I almost forgot what a joy it is working with you. So you missed me? Yeah, sure. Think I missed you somehow managing to put my life in line a hundred times a day? Me? I never twisted your arm. Uh, you didn't have to. You knew what buttons to push. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. You and your partner pull into the fisherman's village. And you start blazing away like a, a couple of drunken cowboys. You kill three punks you didn't have to, and Drake gets clean away. Bad move. The press is going to tear us to pieces. So fuck the press. No, Mark, he's right. Now, we know you shot in self-defense. And we know that place is like a snake pit. But they're going to make it sound like some kind of a shelter for the homeless. Okay, okay. I took a risk, but I had to. If I nail the bastard, by now we know who's running this war. But you didn't nail him. The press and the public don't like rogue cops. And they especially don't like losers. And neither do I. Up yours, Mr. fucking DA. Mark, Mark, relax. Christ, who needs the mafia as an enemy? You got a schmuck like this on your side. You're overstepping, Fierro. Way overstepping. He's got a temper. I checked, double-checked, and cross-checked. Considerable sums are definitely missing from that account. And so far, 
I have no indication as to what the money is being used for. If there's a war being fought in this town, I'd say it was being financed straight out of our funds. Ah, it's you. I thought I told you to clean up in here. Looks like a pig pen. Didn't have time. So what have you been doing all day that meant you didn't have enough time? I've been busy, that's all. Yeah? Busy doing what? Talking about you and Lori. What did she say? Give him at least a chance. The possibility to show he's a real father. Oh. Hey, I... What was she supposed to say? That you really wanted me out of here and that I was screwing up your life, huh? No, no, of course not, Paloma. Where'd you get that idea? Now, listen to me. I... 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 Jesus, it may be important. I... Well, then answer the fucking thing. Piero. Mark, it's me, Hoagie. Ah, Hoagie, listen. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Well, hold it, Mark, hold it. They just found the body of Costa's niece, Santa. Oh, shit. I'm on my way. I'll pick you up outside in five. All right. I'll be there. Paloma, Paloma, listen, uh, I've got to go out for a while. Um, it's a problem at work. Hoagie's on the way here. Come on, Paloma. Come on, give me a break. Ask me, Costa's in real trouble when he can't protect his own. Take me home. Hey, Bob. Hi, Hoagie. You guys are fast. Mark Piero, Bob Brett. Captain? This better be good, Sergeant. It is, sir. The old lady here doesn't have immigration papers. Oh, my God. I can just see the headlines tomorrow. You guys want to get cost off the street, right? What's the connection? Her daughter is Costa's mistress. She lives in the big house with him. The whole nine yards. Uh, you lost me there, Bob. The girl's jailbait, guys. She won't be 18 for six months. Costa know that? Not yet, sir. Who told you? Someone who doesn't like Costa. Oh, shit. An anonymous phone call. All right, Hoagie. We get a warrant for Costa and bring him in before he gets wind of it. Sergeant Brett. How about you babysit the senora here until we're done, okay? You've got it, sir.
I'll get started on those reports. Thanks. Sit down, Ben. Where's the special treatment, Captain? You look like you need it. You want coffee or water? Hmm. I feel old, kid. I'm tired, exhausted. Like when, when Ben Jr. was murdered. I can't believe that Santa is dead, too. She was close to me. She was like a real daughter. I'm sorry, Ben. I know how you feel. <laughs> Look, uh, somebody dropped a dime about the Senora Sanchez and her daughter. The girl is underage. What? Yeah. I was thinking that maybe they wanted to to get you off the streets, whack you out in jail where you're not so well protected. But these days, judges throw out cases like this, unless the girl or her family um, insist on pressing charges. And, well, I don't think that's likely. Do you? Then what's the point? I don't know, Ben. I don't know. Mr. Costa's bail has been posted. That's right. You're free to leave, Mr. Costa. Thank you. Thank you, Counselor. Captain Fierro. We gonna prosecute? We can, if we're desperate. We're desperate. We don't have much of a case, unless the girl or the mother presses charges. Make them fight it anyway. Anything we can do to keep these bastards off balance. What is this, carnival? What the hell is this?
fucking bastard. You fucking bastard. Get out. Now. Get out. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hey there. How are you? Fine. You look good. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Okay, thanks, Candy. Good, Freddy. In the garden, I guess. Uh, can I? <laughs> Front's clear. Okay. They're down there by the pond. Takes care of everybody here, but uh, what about Costa? I got him covered. Then it's over. The town is ours. Okay, let's go. What about Piero? As soon as he takes care of Costa, we take care of him. How's it look? We found this. Any prints? One complete and two partials. I want to know the second you got ID. Yes, sir. Newsflash, Freddie Tilford just got whacked. And I was sure he was our man. Shit. Doesn't leave us many suspects, does it? Especially since the Sami, Castillo, and Chan got hit at the same time. Impressive. What about Tony Romeo and Catherine Rourke? They were at a party in Bimini over the weekend. Dozens of witnesses. Very convenient. Very convenient. Son of a bitch. Fierro. Are you positive? We'll need a backup and a warrant. What's up? Hogue, we finally got a break. A witness. We're heading for Romeo's place. Meet us there, over and out. Hey, you. Where the hell do you think you're going? Take those punks over there. Hi, Tony. Up 
get up on our account. We wouldn't dream of it. Both of you are under arrest. Hoagie? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the Let's right to... Let's see the attend. warrant, Piero. What are the charges? Murder. Times five. <laughs> and... Just who are we supposed to have killed? Freddy Tilford and four other guys. The evidence? A car. Registered to your client here. Spotted leaving the scene. What car is that? A Bentley Special. Purely circumstantial. My client was at a party in Bimini over the weekend. You're wasting your time. Tell it to the jury, huh? She's right, Piero. I bought a Bentley special, less mount. And it was stolen a week ago. Bullshit. No, there's a police report on fire, as well as an insurance claim. We'll be very happy to wait while you call and check. It's me, Sarah. Just to tell you I got the tickets for next weekend. Saturday, okay? Bye. Laurie, don't fast forward through this, please. Listen, I have to see you. I'll be at the Breakers tonight at 8. Join me there, please. You son of a bitch, Mark. Yeah, tell the captain I'm heading down towards the rink now. I'm at the north corner. I'm gonna wait here. No sign of the suspect so far. Yeah, Roger, Sergeant, standing by. My call is they've already taken a powder. Oh! oh. oh. Officer down. Hold on, we'll be right there. They shot Hoagie. Still want to wait, or do you want to order something? Uh, uh. Shrimp cocktail, shark steak, hold slow, and broccoli, please. Um, same for me. Mm -hmm. Right, sir. Hi. Thanks for coming. I ought to have my head examined. Huh. You know. You've really taught that bastard well. Are you still thinking of arresting him? Of course not. The car had been reported as stolen. Look, if you keep after Romeo all the time, you're never going to find the top man in this game. Oh, well. It was a lovely idea to invite me back here. Just 
just like the old days. It hasn't changed a bit. You have. You're even more beautiful now. <laughs> Much too young. I kept telling her. You've got to put a, a stop to this, Mark. They killed your woman. They killed mine, my niece. They, they become more powerful every day. And still we don't know who they are. There's Romeo and the girl. They're starting to swing a lot of weight around here. Yeah, Tony. He's the real motherfucker. To get rid of him. He has no scruples. And you have a daughter, Mark. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but you can't do it. We can't just whack him. But I know another way. Keep talking. God damn you, Mark. You know, I never squealed in my life. You should have agreed to a deal. Not make me do this. Get to the point, Ben. Very well. Go to Laurie's apartment. She knew all about Tony. She had enough evidence to destroy him forever. Even though she loved you, she never told you the whole truth. Anyway, the stuff's in a deposit box at the National Bank. The key's in her safe. I told her to do it, hoping it would be a kind of life insurance for her. But, well, Bastard did give her a chance. I know you cared about Laurie. So, let go. And do it. Huh? Ready, honey? Uh, for anything. <laughs>
dickhead cop. You ever want to see your daughter again, alive? You drop this case, you get out of town. You hear me? Well, we've already got an APB out. A full alert. Nothing yet, sorry. Thanks. What are they gonna do to us? I don't know, Paloma. I don't know. I'm scared. Don't worry. Don't you worry. It'll be all right. Grandfather? Hmm? Why are they doing this? Hmm. <laughs> So much has changed, Paloma. The way things are in the city nowadays, I don't know, it's, it's chaos, it's crazy, it's bad. In the old days, everyone knew where they stood. You were right, wrong, or, or in between. It was clear. Everything has changed. But change is part of our world, Grandfather. Everything changes every day. Maybe, Paloma. Maybe. But dinosaurs died out rather than change. I'm a dinosaur. Any news? Maybe, Captain. Some guy went into the third precinct. Go on. Well, he reported seeing a big black convertible stopped at a light. When? About uh, three hours ago. He said there was three guys and one young, good-looking girl in the car. And? He got the impression that the girl was struggling, trying to get out. Could be. Where was this? Right near the Seminole. That big warehouse down by the new marina. Hey, wait a minute, Captain. It was in Hoagie's notes. The Seminole belongs to one of Tony Romeo's holding companies. That's it. Captain, wait, wait. The guy who reported this might be one of Tony Romeo's stooges. It could be a trap. Yeah, it could be. I'm going there anyway. Wait for a backup. She's my daughter. This is my gig. Captain, will you take volunteers? Come on. If you want to go in, you better have a warrant. Sure, the captain there's got it. Well, come on, let's see it. Play games, Tony.
My compliments, Dad. Thank you. Using theater was a must. A good plan needs to be flexible, Tony. In cases like this, one has to be able to improvise. There is one thing that I don't get, though. Why? The death threats and fake hits. Ah, Tony. I know how Vera thinks. You would have expected anything else. It's obvious, isn't it? Give him a cakewalk, he would have been suspicious from the start. Fucking brilliant plan. You added some variations of your own. I can't say I'm too thrilled with them. I took all the risks. It made sense that I should be doing it for myself instead of for you. Honey. Mine would have been yours. I know you too well, then. Only you and me know this was a setup. And now that it's worked, I'm expendable. You eliminate me, blame me for everything. And you are not only the king, but a hero, too, right? You didn't have to kill Santa. It made the thing seem more realistic. So what happens to me? I disappear? Exactly. I want the whole world to think you're dead. My granddaughter, she isn't part of this. You made her part of it. <laughs> What is this, Ben? A joke? Don't move. Just listen. I met Red Finnegan yesterday while I was dodging the cops. I always wonder what happened to him. You were such good pals. Anyway, you know Red. He already had too much to drink. And I bought him some more. And he told me a hell of a story. <laughs> By the way, he's already spent the money you sent him for this year. He was hoping to hit you up for an advance. <laughs> you bastard! Red told me how jealous you were of Ben Jr. How you murdered him so you could take his place. Red had the evidence. You bastard! You son of a bitch! My daughter hates me. She blames me for her brother's death. 
He drove her to dope. My own granddaughter doesn't even know me. Don't do it, Ben. You shoot me if you have to, kid. Ben! God damn you, Ben Costa. I can't help you now, Ben. Not now. All right, so what? Here. Check her on the back there. You two over there. Daryl's daughter. We gotta find her. You come with me. Get below, but she's in the quarry. Not you, Costa. You're under arrest. Go! Go on! Go, go! Let's go. What are you doing? No!
your mouth or I'll blow your head off. Help! Help me! Will you shut your mouth? God, what a ball-breaking bitch you are. Come on. You're coming with me if I have to pull all your hair out, all right? Help! Help me! Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Now, come on. That's better. Now, just keep walking. It's over. It's over. It's all over. Look at them. Two more weeks in this push cart and they should be walking again. What are you thinking about? What I'm gonna do? Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. The governor's already asked me to stay in Miami. That's great. Think you will? Maybe. I want to talk to Paloma first. And take care of one or two other things as well. <laughs> 